You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP LTM. In this section, we are going to talk about F5 Big IP initial setup and trial license activation. Therefore, first we will request trial license from F5 website and then we will download and install the virtual edition of F5 Big IP. Then we will use the trial license to do initial setup. In the first step, we download the latest version of F5 Big IP Virtual Edition and request the trial license. We go to the f5.com slash trials and to the section F5 Big IP Virtual Edition and then click on the get free trial now in order to get the 30 day free trial license we need to follow these four steps we have to register and log in to the f5 website it is recommended that you use a corporate email i've already registered in the f5 website then once you are logged in in the sections my products and plans and then trials you can find the free trial version of Big IP, Big IP Virtual Edition and Big IQ Virtual Edition. And then we click on the start free trial. I'm not downloading on behalf of a government entity and then save. Trial license are expected to be emailed to your registered email address and then in the next step we are going to download the f5 big ip virtual edition and we have received the free trial license in the next step we are going to download the virtual edition big ip virtual edition Download the latest version of read and agree to the terms of license agreement and then the product big IP and product line the latest version of big IP and product version here I choose virtual edition virtual edition the latest version 17.1.0.2 is the latest version and then here the OVA file search for the OVA keyword big IP OVA file the size of the OVA file is 2 gigabyte and then the location to download for example USA and finally download and in the next step we will use the trial keys to begin setting up big IP virtual edition in VMware ESX environment in the next step we import the OVA file into VMware ESX environment we add a new OVA file the latest version that we have downloaded a name LTM2 I've already installed LTM1 and in the data store and license agreement the only point to note is the order of the interfaces to ensure they are correctly mapped to the port group in VMware ESX environment the first interface is the management interface the second interface is internal interface the set interface is used for external connectivity and finally the last interface is for redundancy purposes that we will discuss during the course i add the management interface external interface and ha interface in the same port group vm network default port group but it is recommended that each interface has its own port group and the interface internal it is used in the inside port group and then the end then 
and we have to wait until the virtual edition of F5 Big IP is created and then we will continue our discussion. F5 Big IP virtual edition is imported and loaded. Now we are connected to the console of the Big IP. We use the default username password. The username is root and the password is default. I use the default username and password to connect to the Big IP to log in to the device. And then we will be asked to change the default root user console password. I will change it. Changing the default console password also changes the default web admin user password to the same password. However, the first time you log in to the web environment, you will be prompted to change the web password as well. Now you are logged in into the F5 Big IP shell environment, which is actually the bash shell of the CentOS Linux distribution and all Linux bash commands are valid here. For example, ls, for example, pwd and many other commands and the command tmos will be used to take you into the big IP tmos or traffic management operating system shell environment which will be the topic of the next section with the command if config mgmt you can check the current IP address of F5 interface to 187 and with the command config mgmt we can change manually the IP address of the management interface IP version 4 and the IP address I'm going to use automatic IP address no 1 is the subnet of the management interface and then ok and subnet mask do you want to use uh, 2 1 as the gateway no accept this setting yes now we are ready to connect and log in to the device through the web interface with the IP address 192.168.1.187. It takes some time to be loaded. Now we are connected to web version of F5 Big IP. I will use, we log in with the username admin and the same password as the root user that we have changed in the console. Then we are asked to change the web password. I will use the current and the new password. Now the password is changed. We have to log in again. Here in my case, the web page took a long time to open and I kept getting the message configuration utility starts. According to the article in the F5 website, if you are starting in the GUI environment, most probably the reason is because of memory heap limit to make sure if the problem is from the memory, we can use the command we can connect through the SSH to the device 168 187 and the username root and then here we will use cat slash var slash log slash from cat catalina out and direct the output for the memory or out of memory you see I received the message out of the memory in the log file this is probably also our problem allocating additional memory to 
Tomcat, according to this article, will solve our problem. The command is written here in TMSH environment. Modify the value of the memory and then restart the service. And then most probably after restarting the service, the problem will be resolved. For my case, I've tried two times and both of the times with this command, my problem was resolved. Then we connect to the F5 big IP again. When you connect to the F5 big IP web interface for the first time, you will be automatically directed to the setup utility and that means that problem is also resolved no license exists for this device the, the license for this device is not operational clicking next takes you to the license page here you can select activate to activate the license in the section base registration key we have to enter the trial license key that we have received from a five website and it is also emailed to us and also you can get it from the website i will copy the trial key here and i will use in the activation method the method manual and then next in the next page you will be given a text and a link copy the text into the link and we will receive the license which can be used to activate the f5 device i will copy the text here and then next license agreement and then we will receive the license we can download the license and open copy and paste here and then next now it's expected that the license of the device for 30 days will be activated okay now the license is activated after license activation you will be redirected to the next page resource provisioning page which shows all bgp supported modules as you can see ltm asm dns um, cgnat afm pem module the all f5 big ip modules are listed here and also the modules which are licensed by the trial key as you can see the most of the modules for example ltm and the dns and apm with the limited version are licensed with the trial key by simply clicking any of the module you can activate them and use them free for 30 days in this course we only need the ltm module so we will not choose any other module in f5 big ip resource provisioning page and then next on the next page you can change the device certificate which we ignore and then next for the next page you will be redirected to the platform page we can change the management ip address the device host name for the management i don't need uh, any default gateway for the host name i choose the host name ltm to raika-co.local and also i have to give the root password again two times to change the configuration and ssh access is by default also enabled and we will leave it as it is and all addresses are allowed to connect to the device through the ssh protocol and then next next page is the network page in the network page you are allowed to configure redundancy vlans interfaces ntp dns and some other network related options and then next 
This is the topology that we want to implement in the initial setup. Management interface through which we connect to the F5 big IP with the IP address 192.168.1.187 I have chosen and the internal interface with the IP address 10.2 I will use for the second LTM and the outside interface or the external interface 2.187 I will use for the second LTM on the redundancy page in the network configuration we disable the config sync option because we will not configure any redundancy during the initial setup and then again next on the VLAN page we first configure the internal interface and then in the next page we will configure the external interface to give we will give the IP address of the internal interface which is 10.2 with the mask 255, 255, 3 times or a slash 24 and we will choose allow default option with the allow default we open well known management and control ports such as HTTPS, SSH, DNS as well as Unicast and Multicast Routing Protocol, RIP, OSPF, IGMP, and PIM. With the ALO 443, we only open an HTTPS connection to the interface, and with ALO, non every connection to the interface itself is not allowed. For the internal, I will use ALO default, and the VLAN interface 1211 and untagged is selected because if you remember it was the first interface after the management interface in the OVA configuration I also choose the untagged because I have not configured VLAN tagging in the port group in the VMware environment and then, then add and in the next page the external interface not a valid IP address what is wrong with this IP address? Uh, four times I've given and then next on the next external interface configuration I will choose the IP address 2187 and 24 as the subnet mask and allow for example only 443 and the default gateway to 1 and the second interface 1 2 and also on tag and then finished now we have configured f big ip initially and we are ready for the actual load balancer configuration which will be discussed in the next section also we can check the licensing information in the system section in the licensing it shows the license expiration date is 3rd of October to 2023 and the network configuration you can check here the interfaces 1.1, and 1.3, 1.3 is for HA which is not configured for the route the default gateway is to one and for the IP address the IP address that we have configured for the internal and external interface and all other initial configuration you can check through the system and network section in the GUI interface